visit at CERN was the past summer, so the experience is still very fresh. Many impressions, discoveries, plenty of triggers that are still floating, colliding and annihilating around like particles and antiparticles in the vacuum of the fields. Matter has not yet come to be. So I will use this time to tell a story of a question to which I expected to receive a very quick answer but ended up asking all over again. Do you know where the master clock of the experiment is? One can go on imagining the CERN main timer being like this or like this. Although both are very intriguing oscillations, they are not. The master clock is indeed a very boring and precise GPS signal. If one can call universal coordinate time boring, and a few switches and fiber optic distributing the tempo around the ring by taking into account and calibrating relativistic discrepancies out. The master clock is a tiny piece of hardware of very practical and conceptual importance. It organizes the beam passing from one accelerator to the next so that they reach the necessary speed to collide. We could call it the heartbeat of the experiment. Its silent signal, the so known BP, basic period, or 1.2 seconds, keep everything running at 50 BPM. The system is soon to be updated to a new one called White Rabbit. I asked if they would also increment the BP. I was told nope, there is so much code out there we don't know if and where the value 1.2 second has been hard coded, the risk of the system crashing is way too high. To change the temporal framework, be it the frequency of a basic period in a highly controlled experiment or the overall conception of how measurement of durations works, is indeed a hard task. Humanity developed a great deal of machinery, mathematical tricks, calibration methods in order to maintain the conceptual integrity of a superlinear succession of instants adding up onto each other. Universal Coordinated Time, UTC, is practically implemented by merging mo uh, monthly pulsating seconds units from all over the world and space. In Paris, the months all seconds are sent out again as a reference. An equation of time flattens out the analemma and leap seconds are induced because the hearse doesn't seem to move as regularly as we wish it would. Time zones makes everything even more abstruse. UTC is a masterpiece of clever technical tricks used to craft a very useful metaphysical ideal, linear time. After attentive consideration, one is led to wonder if it might be the superlinear arrow of time that make quantum mechanics so strange. <laughs>